Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm on the street, and today, now that we have Linux Mint installed, it's time to take a look around. So here we are on the desktop of Linux Mint. This is what your default desktop looks like if you're using Cinnamon Edition Linux Mint. If you chose to use the Made Edition, then this might look a little different, but it should be the same uh, for the most part. Just might be some minor tweaks here or there. That is a different desktop environment, but this is Cinnamon. As you can see, we've got a desktop background here. Obviously, you can change that picture. Um, right click and click change desktop background that's how you do that we'll go more into customizing settings in later videos but right now you'll see at the top left of your screen you've got a computer window you've got a home uh, icon and you've just got shortcuts to some various things anything that you plug into your computer uh, such as I've got well a CD I've inserted I also have a hard drive plugged into the computer and I'm also connected to a couple of network drives so anything that you connect to your computer um, anything important will show up here on the desktop. Now the reason that Linux Mint is a very very good choice for beginners to Linux is because it resembles Windows very closely. If you look here at the bottom of the screen we've got what resembles a taskbar. It is called a panel in Linux or at least in Cinnamon it's called a panel and as you can see if I right click this options bar kind of resembles the GNOME 3 panels options bar but we don't really need to worry about those options. All we need to worry about is the menu button at the bottom left of the screen. This is basically your start menu. If you click on that, once again, in Mate this will look a little bit different, but in Cinnamon we've got a favorites bar on the left. You can just drag icons out of there to get them out, and then if you want to add icons to your favorites bar, just drag your program into the favorites bar. Um, we've got you know some options to turn off our computer at the bottom left of the menu there we've got different categories of applications we can search through we can also see another list of important places such as documents folder music folder videos pictures downloads and then we've got recent files that you can see there now the all applications window will show you all your different applications I'll show you how to install applications in a later video we're just taking a look at default stuff right now I have installed a few extra applications but you know that doesn't really matter so that's the start menu as you can see, if I were to open up, say, a Firefox window, I've got Firefox open, and there's my website. You can drag windows around with their title bar, just like on Windows, and just like on Windows at the top right of the window, you've got three options. And the buttons look a little different, but they do the same things as they do on Windows. We've got Minimize. Minimizes the program to the taskbar. As you can see, you can click on the program in the taskbar to bring it back up. We've got Maximize, the little plus there will make the window take up the entire screen and then we've got the close button is the X obviously let me open that up again and cinnamon has some nice things that mate does not uh, that I have been enjoying using for instance if you drag a window to the left side of the screen and let go as you can see we just had a little sound effect there and now we snapped our window to the left side of the screen if we do the same thing to the right of the screen we can do that now those things you can do in windows here's something you cannot do in windows is do the same thing with the corner of the screen so now you can have four different uh, windows snapped so that they're the same size obviously if you open four windows and snap them all to a corner uh, if you bring your window to the top of the screen you'll actually only use the top half of the screen just like if you bring it to the bottom you'll only use the bottom half of the screen it won't actually maximize the window but once again you can either double click the title bar or click that little maximize button if you want to make the window take up the entire screen now if you hold down control and do the same thing you'll see it looks the same as if you just drag the window to the side but this time this little field that comes up is green and it says hold control to enter snap mode now I'm going to snap Firefox there what is snap mode exactly well I'll open up a terminal and snap it here I guess and what snap mode is well I don't know if I have Firefox in full screen mode and then I've got a terminal and I just drag it over to the left side as you can see it did resize my terminal it did not resize Firefox the terminal now takes up half the screen Firefox still takes up the entire screen if I were to hold down control while doing that to enter snap mode it not only makes the terminal half the screen it also resizes Firefox automatically and then when I close the terminal puts Firefox back to where it was before very nice features um, I could get used to those I will get used to those at the bottom left we've also got a button to show the desktop so I'll just keep using Firefox because that's a program you should all be familiar with uh, if I click show desktop obviously minimizes everything 
Uh, if I open a terminal, you know, minimizes everything. Now, you'll see I just open this terminal, and look at this. There are no pixels between Firefox and the terminal. Uh, Linux Mint opens things in one of two places. It either opens them in the middle of the screen, like it does with system settings, as you can see, middle of the screen. But normally, uh, Cinnamon is a tiling desktop manager, or a tiling desktop environment, and I really like that. It automatically puts things right next to each other, does not waste any space. So if you've got a big monitor like I do, uh, you should enjoy that it tiles things. You don't have to worry about empty space between those. I know there's absolutely no space between these two windows. Uh, maximum efficiency. And that holds true no matter how many different windows you open. If I open up Caden Live, and um, probably going to be maximized actually, but you know, if I open up, let's say if I open up Calculator, it'll it'll be sort of there. And then if I open up Calculator again, see it tiles. It uh, goes right next to the other calculator. So, yeah, very nice window manager. It's called a desktop environment. Cinnamon is a desktop environment is what it's called. Sorry. Now, here at the bottom left, you'll have some shortcuts. Now, originally, there was a Firefox shortcut there that looks like that. What I did was I just took it and dragged it out because I didn't really want it there. I think I took it and dragged it out. Was that what I did? Nope, you cannot just do that. You have to right-click the icon and click Remove, and then it, you know, removed the Firefox icon, because I've got Firefox open. Well, I've got my default browser open 24-7, and I just switched that to Firefox. If you're following my Facebook page, you should see. As you can see, you can click between different windows if they're overlapping, just like in Windows, to switch between them. Uh, this theme is a little bit kind of difficult to understand. The lighter button is the one that is currently your focus. If I've got you know, three overlapping windows here. As you can see, the darker ones are the ones that are not in focus. The light one is in focus. That didn't take too long to get used to, but it did trick me at first. At the very right-hand side of the screen, we've got the notification area. Uh, we've got a little, literally, a notification area. And if you're doing something like rendering a video or something, the, the program might take advantage of this. Uh, it might say a notification up in the top right of your screen. Sometimes it does. doesn't do it a whole lot, but for some programs such as like Handbrake, let's say I open up Handbrake. This is going to take a little bit, but we'll click Start and hope it finishes by the end of the video. As you can see, um, we've got, or we should have, nope, we did not get a notification about that. Let's minimize Handbrake and see if we get a notification later. See so yeah, on the notification area, that's what it does or the notification icon. We've got some other icons. This is your user icon from GNOME 3 once again. You've got your user, um, your picture if you've assigned one to your user. You've got if notifications are turned on or off. You can get to different settings, lock your screen, log out, power off, normal things. We've got removable drives. This is basically your your way to unmount drives, which you should do, by the way, in Linux. I know in Windows sometimes it's cumbersome, but uh, it, it can't hurt to just click this little icon, click the eject button, and this does not only work for drives such as if I eject this network drive, it just disappeared from my desktop. This also works for like CD drives. If I click on the CD that was in here, it will open up my CD drive. I know you can't see it, but it just opened up. I'm going to insert it again, and you'll see that CD pop back up on my desktop in a few minutes or a few seconds. Next, we've got the wired, or we've got the network manager, and obviously I'm using wired internet, but if you have got wireless internet, this button right here will be what you click to configure what, you know, Wi-Fi network you want to use and enter your password and stuff. And instead of having a cable icon, it should have a Wi-Fi icon. We've got uh, sound settings next. As you can see, I've got microphone sound settings. I hope, I hope my microphone sound settings, they look okay in Audacity there. It's what I'm using to record this right now. Uh, I'll show you what I just did in a minute, by the way. Here we've got, I guess that's an icon for show all. Oh, no, that's just a handbrake thing. That's not normally there. This is the screen recorder, also not normally there. Here we've got, uh, that's also not normally there. Sorry, guys, I've got some extra stuff open that are not normally open. Here we've got an update checker. It says your system is up to date right now, but as you can see, there is an update manager built into Linux Mint, which is very, very nice. I'll go over the update manager in more detail in my video about installing packages and programs and applications and things. Uh, I'll do a separate video for all of that, but that's where the icon on the thing is for the update manager that updates all your software on your computer automatically. Very nice. And it will have a blue exclamation point in it 
when you have updates available, it's got a green check mark right now because my system is up to date, as you can see there. Here we've got a clock with a calendar. This is the GNOME 3 standard clock. Finally, we've got a thing to show all our windows on all our different workspaces. As you can see, I've got Audacity, Screen Recorder, uh, Firefox is open. Now, what exactly are workspaces? Well, you see, most Linux distributions, most Linux desktop environments, come with, in one form or another, something called virtual desktops. This is virtual desktops. As you can see, in Cinnamon, this is the specific way you activate it. This is different for every desktop environment, but for Cinnamon, just like in GNOME 3, we bring our mouse to the top left of the screen. You can see that little, that little pulse animation there, and now we've got four different screens. And this is kind of weird. This might be a little hard to grasp if you've never used this feature before, but basically this is like Mac OS's spaces feature that they used to have before they had mission control. This is basically like multitasking for your desktop on a higher level than your taskbar. What we've got here are four virtual desktops, and each virtual desktop has its own taskbar. As you can see, this virtual desktop I was using for recording, so I've got my screen recorder and Audacity in the taskbar. But then if I want to screen record at the same time as I'm browsing the internet, here I've got my web browser. That's the only thing in the taskbar. I don't have to worry about that other stuff, because it's not just minimize, it's actually in another desktop. Um, you can rename these desktops, you can add more just by clicking that little plus, you can take them away by clicking the X in the upper right of any of the desktops. As you can see, it shows you minimized windows when you're not hovering over the desktop, and then when you do start hovering over the desktop, they disappear. This is a really nice feature. Gotta say, like, one of my favorite features of Linux. One of the things I miss most on Windows when I'm not using Linux. You'll, you'll quickly grow very accustomed to using virtual desktops if you choose to take advantage of them. Uh, so you could have, like, one of these virtual desktops open for work, and one of them open for games, and you could switch back and forth... Or you can have one of them open for like video editing and one of them open for yeah web browsing, one of them open for like writing, you, whatever you want. It, it's all about your workflow, what works best for you. And I don't know how long we've been going, a little bit, uh, but that is basically, that's your Linux desktop right there. It looks like Handbrake's not going to finish. Yeah, it's not even close. I'm not going to wait for that. So yeah, that is basically, right there, your Linux desktop environment. Not your Linux desktop environment, your Linux Mint desktop environment. Once again, this was Cinnamon. If you were on the Mate desktop environment, things will look a little different, specifically in regards to your menu and virtual desktops and snapping and stuff. But if you are on Cinnamon, once again, whether you're on the Debian or Ubuntu version of Linux Mint, uh, this will be the same. Cinnamon will be the same. Very nice desktop environment based on GNOME 3. So yeah, if you guys have any questions about doing anything in Linux, how to do anything in Linux, um, how to achieve certain things in Linux, please do leave a comment on the video page or leave a comment or a forum post at our website at nerdonthestreet.com. So yeah, once again, this is Cinnamon Desktop Environment. I'm Jacob Kaufman, I'm Nerd of the Street, and I will see you guys later. See ya.